We had a question come across on our Facebook page about how to save custom tool holders for your mill. I'm going to go over that really quick. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you how to set up a custom holder and then I'll show you how to take that holder and bring it into another file and save it so you can always go back and use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up that custom holder. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up a model. It's a solid model that I created of that custom holder. All right, great. So a couple things to note here. The orientation of this custom holder is very, very important. If it doesn't come in like this, you have to make sure that the main coordinate system is smack dab down the middle of the holder and that the holder is in the positive Z direction of the main coordinate system. If it's on some custom coordinate system, you have to move it and make sure that this is the way that it's oriented. So the main coordinate system is right in the middle of the bottom of the custom tool holder. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna create a tool. So I'm gonna use, so I use this kind of weird hex shaped, um, custom holder just so we can see their big difference and you can really see when I'm using it. When this comes in, it's probably going to say none. I'm going to just use a fly cutter here. So I'm going to come here to custom. And I want to use a solid, the solid that I created. Now we can use a profile if we have 2D geometry or we can define just the, the immediate holder using these values here. But I'm going to use a solid. And then right here, I'm going to say use selected solid. We can see when I do that, it pops up in the window. I'm holding down my mouse, my middle mouse button. We can rotate it around. Looks good. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this file. I'll just save it to my desktop. Okay, now once this is saved, I'm going to right mouse button click. Now I saved the file itself, but now what I want to do is I want to save this tool as a tool list. So I'm going to save selected tools and I'm going to call it custom holder fly cutter. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Okay, so let me open up the file that I wanted to use that tool on. I just want to do a quick fly cut across the top of this. I'm going to go ahead to my tools. I'm going to right mouse button click. I'm going to load tools. There's that custom fly holder. I'm going to open it. Now it takes a second because you can see that it automatically brings in the geometry for that custom tool holder. Now you might look at this and be like, oh my gosh, it's right in the middle of my part. I'm just gonna double click on it and throw it in the body bag. You don't have to worry about it. Let me create a quick face milling operation. There we go. And let's look at it in tool simulation. So as soon as I pull it up, there's my custom tool holder. And then there's the fly cutting. And my my retracts are a little wonky, but you get the idea. So there it is. So that's how you create a custom tool holder and also save that custom tool holder to use on different files in the future. If you have any questions about Gibbs Cam in general or creating custom tool holders, please reach out to your local reseller or give Gibbs Cam technical support a call. Thank you.